Hey everybody, Christina Stewart here with Christina Stewart Photography. I'm so happy to be here and wanted to introduce myself. I have been shooting for 20 years. My background is photojournalism. I went to University of Florida and started out as a writer actually. I was not happy with the journalistic style writing and my mother, who's always been a really big supporter and encourager of mine and my dreams, noticed how unhappy I was. And she said, you know, you're not supposed to be this unhappy doing what you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. Do what you love and the money will follow. Fantastic advice. I've been following that for the rest of my life so far. <laughs> I took a semester and just took what I wanted to take. I took an intro to photojournalism class just for fun, thinking I like taking pictures. I might as well learn how to do it well. Oh my goodness. It combined everything everything that I loved about journalism. I was not gonna be stuck in an office in one of those little cubicles, which just the thought of makes me itch. <laughs> I was gonna be out and about meeting new people and photographing new things and events. And more importantly, I was gonna be traveling the world, which is one of my other passions. So I followed, jumped into that photojournalism track. I bounced around the country with different internships different daily newspapers and built up that experience that eventually led me to get a full-time job at Florida Today in Central Florida, which at the time was a 110,000 circulation newspaper. As a first job, first real job, going to that circulation was pretty much unheard of. <laughs> All my instructors and, and classmates who graduated ahead of me said, oh, you've got to pay your dues at some little podunk, 10 and 20,000 circulation paper, work there for six months, then go to the next one, next level up, work there for six months or a year. And I just really was not willing to do that. Who likes to move that many times? No, thank you. Instead, I did the internships and had a lot of fun, got a lot of daily experience with that. And that allowed me to end up getting the job at that larger circulation paper. I have had some of the most amazing experiences in this field in photojournalism. It really is my core and my heart. I love photojournalism. And having watched the industry really kind of crash and burn, <laughs> crash and burn has not been fun. It really is, I've seen so many friends who've been laid off like I was. I was laid off in 2011. I'm okay with it though, because it promoted me or propelled me into this entrepreneurial world, which I totally, totally love. I have photographed celebrities. I photographed the NBA. I've done NASCAR. I did the Daytona 500 numerous times. I photographed, the. it used to be the Pepsi 400. I think it's changed its name again a few times. It always happened, one of them always happened to be on my birthday weekend, which was okay. It was, I would rather be spending my birthday celebrating. Anyway, <laughs> I have met celebrities. I've met Christopher Reeve before he died. I photographed Mikhail Gorbachev when he came to speak at UF. I almost hit Sting with a door <laughs> and he was totally cool. He was like, it's okay, love. When I apologized to him, I was like, oh my God. Gene Simmons was the coolest, most laid back guy. He came and spoke at UF and I was photographing the event. He stayed after to sign autographs and he was there longer than a lot of the employees. Like he waited, signing every single person's whatever they wanted him to sign for hours after his speech. So cool. He actually gave me his cell phone number to, to give him pictures later when they were developed because it was film. I'm letting you know how old I am. <laughs> And I was too chicken to use it. I was still a student and I was like, oh, he doesn't want my pictures. Well, now I have much more confidence. I have much more experience and I totally would call and say, hey, here's your pictures, dude. I photographed Jack Canfield, who's the success principles and uh, the chicken soup for the soul. He was one of the founders of that series. He was one of the keynote speakers at an event that I was photographing and I sent CDs, there were CDs at the time, or DVDs, to his office and two different staff members of his from two different offices in, in opposite ends of California called me within the same week and said, I have seen so many pictures of Jack Canfield's career throughout his whole career and no one, no one has captured his essence as well as you have. Whew, what a big compliment, right? 
I, I am so grateful for the experiences that I've had. I love what I do. I dream in pictures. I see the world in pictures. And I now am teaching photography. I've been teaching since 2011. And I love it. I love sharing my information. I love seeing better pictures in the world. And photography is fun. Anybody can do it. Any age. I've taught from four-year-olds up to 84-year-olds and everybody in between. Everybody can enjoy it. We can just document our lives, be creative, have some fun. It, it gives people a hobby. If you want your teenager to <laughs> stay healthy and make good choices, start starting med photography because it's so expensive. They're not going to have any money to buy anything else. <laughs> and it's really not anymore with digital. It is just a fantastic field to be in and I'm honored to be able to share my information and share my experience and my knowledge with all of you and how I'm going to do that, how you guys can benefit from this and tap into my brain and my visual information is I'm going to be doing photo tips Tuesday every week. I'm going to be posting it on Instagram, IGTV and sharing that to my Facebook page, probably end up posting them on YouTube also. So if you're interested in learning, if you have a burning question, if you've got just a, hey, I'm curious how this happened, or send me a picture and ask how you can recreate it, direct message me. I'm happy to share information that you guys want, right? I want you to benefit from this. I love sharing information. I love teaching. I love seeing those light bulb moments in my students' eyes and you know above their head. <laughs> When, they, when something finally clicks, no pun intended, <laughs> direct message me with any questions. I'm looking for content. I've all, got tons of information to share, but I want to share information that you want to learn. So direct message me. I'm at C. Stewart Photo on Instagram or Christina Stewart Photography on Facebook. My last name is spelled S-T-U-A-R-T. And let's just have some fun. The photography at its base is light. So go see the lights. Woohoo! <laughs> That's what we're going to learn. We're just going to have some fun. And I'm looking forward to helping you make better pictures. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic week. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.